Hi, my name is Raina Noriega. I'm from Miami, Florida, and I'm a visual artist and author. I started doing art full-time about three years ago. I was an art teacher at the time, and I just started getting really uncomfortable. I felt like I had outgrown that space, like I had learned as much as I could learn from the people around me. And I did learn a whole lot there from my students and from coworkers and things like that. But it just got to a point where it felt like it was at a plateau and that was all I could ever aspire to, you know, make financially or do. And so from there, I guess the discomfort led me to remember my original dream, which was to be a full time artist and start to figure out like how that could I could make that possible. I think my style evolves as I evolve and as the things that I'm concerned about within me um, change. I think I wanted to have a signature style immediately. Um, but there was so much noise in my head about like what I should do So I think I finally came into my own style about two years ago after 10 years of painting as a creator I had watched, you know all of the artists that I aspire to reach their level do today at apples and I thought that like It would take years for them for me to get to a point where they would think to ask me to do one um, So that was just kind of like a wow like they see me moment after working with major clients, I it's very hard to work with commission projects because they just come with so much more clarity. You know, there's a team, there's set deadlines, there's set budgets. So it's taken a lot of like the mental toll that I used to have when I was freelancing and doing like smaller logo projects and things like that. You're fully responsible for the follow up and kind of like walking your client through what they want creatively. Um, whereas some of these bigger projects like they're set creative briefs and I just come in and they know what I do in my style and they trust me to do my thing and it becomes a lot more simple. I do feel the pressure to constantly release and constantly I guess stay relevant. I'm trying to fight that urge and just kind of like talk to myself internally and tell myself that anything that I want to make that will be bigger than what I made before, it's going to take time and rest. And if I keep pumping out work, it's just going to be a lot of the same thing versus something that I've marinated in. I think art is an internal dialogue that we have within ourselves that we allow the world to see, whereas content is push for for the sake of relevance right for the sake of staying current and starting maybe a dialogue on social media versus like the that internal relationship that we have with our work and that builds when you really enjoy the process versus enjoy the sharing of it everything that i create i completely love for different reasons i've always had this need to have my artwork be tangible and so i love the larger you know paintings and stuff like that because of the time that goes into it but i also love the idea of people being able to touch and use my artwork in tangible ways so i think just knowing the different ways people are able to interact with it makes me love them all equally for different reasons. My most interesting collaboration, I would probably say my New Yorker cover is definitely one of my favorites. Um, it was a goal of mine since I learned what illustration was. Um, that's kind of what you look to to see what the trends are, you know, and who's like the next big illustrator in the, the industry. So that was a big deal for me. Um, aside from that, I think my the cloth diaper collab that I did with Assembly was really exciting because I want to see more of my prints on clothing and I would like to do something similar to that but for like adults more so. I've done some streetwear, I've done t-shirts and stuff like that but me personally I wear a lot of like dresses with prints like I'm wearing now and I really want to see my artwork translated in that way so that was like a little sample of what I could do. One project that turned out completely different than I imagined was Brookfield Place. Um, the installation that I did in New York City, when they approached me, it was like two weeks out from when they needed the artwork by. And the way it was explained to me was just that, you know, they needed some digital files and they were going to put it on like the building. I had no idea what the scale was or what the time duration would be. And it ended up being a wrap for the whole entire mall that stayed up from October to March of 2021. My original plan was to move um, before COVID. So I had a flight to Paris 
March of 2022, March 16th specifically. And that was around the time when the lockdown started. So my goal was to kind of like spend some time in Barcelona, Paris, travel around, see what the art scene was like, hopefully evolve and grow in different ways. Um, but I had made a promise to myself a long time ago when all of my friends would reach a certain level of success and then leave to LA or leave to New York. I always said that I wanted to kind of like make it in Miami and help Miami to blossom. And I feel like the universe keeps anchoring me down here even when I try to leave because of that wish and that promise that I had for myself. So I guess I still have more work to do here and more roots um, to sow. but. I do, I mean, I love traveling and I would love to see what life is like um, somewhere else. I encourage all artists that are looking to do this full time or looking to expand or really want to have a message, make sure that you are working, doing the inner work. Um, make sure you're fully confident and grounded in who you are. Make sure you don't need validation from anyone. I think those are the things, like once you're centered within yourself, you can hear those voices telling you it's time to move on, it's time to expand, it's time to grow. Um, and you have no sense of doubt because you know yourself that intimately. My next big projects would be my third book releasing very soon. Um, you can look out for that. And my collaboration with Ball Harbor, I'm gonna be doing a magazine cover and an installation inside the mall. So I can't wait for you all to see that. Raina Noriega underscore on Instagram or www.rainanoriega.com. <laughs>